Hello students, this is Preeti Damle, your English teacher. Students, today we are going to study English literature, a new poem, Meadow Surprises, written by Louis Brandon Phillips. I'll give you the paradise explanation of the poem. So here we begin. Meadows have surprises. You can find them if you look. Walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook. So here in this para, the poet notes that meadows have surprises. Meadow offers surprises to the one who is eager to look at the meadow. Meadow, the green grasslands. It is a great pleasure to walk through velvety soft grass and hear the sound of the brook. You may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking straws to sip the nectar up. Now in this para, the poet describes the beautiful sight one may encounter in the meadow. He says it is possible to come across a butterfly who is comfortably placed upon her buttercup, that is the flowers full of nectar. It would seem as if the butterfly is sipping nectar from the buds and flowers with the help of a drinking straw. Okay. Next, you may scare a rabbit who is sitting very still. Though at first you may not see him, when he hops, you will. So the poet describes another beautiful sight that is, when walking on the soft grass, one may not be able to see the rabbit immediately. Why? Because it's hiding there. The rabbit might get frightened by our footsteps and would hop out of the grass. That indeed is a sight worth watching. A dandelion, a dandelion whose fuzzy head was golden days ago has turned to airy parachutes that flutter when you blow. So the poet describes the sight of buds transforming into flowers. Dandelions, or you call the bright yellow flowers, that appeared golden several days ago, have bloomed and flutter as you go near and blow at them. Okay? Next, explore the meadow houses, the burrows in the ground, a nest beneath tall grasses, the ants' amazing mound. So the poet describes certain houses that one that are to be seen in the meadows. If one explores the meadows, one comes across various houses. There are burrows in the ground meant for small little animals. Some nests are also found beneath those tall grasses and there are mounds for the ants also. And last he says, Oh, meadows have surprises and many things to tell. You may discover these yourself if you look and listen well. So the poet again notes the fact that a meadow has several various surprises. If one is able to pay a little bit of attention, look and listen well, one may find various beautiful surprises in the meadow. Okay? Thank you.